My name is David Lister. I'm the rabbi of Edgeware United Synagogue. The question I've been asked is, why can't a Jewish man listen to a woman singing? This is indeed a rule that applies in Jewish law, that a Jewish man shouldn't listen to a woman singing unless it's his own wife. It seems a very extreme rule. We're not used to this in the culture that surrounds us. And yet there it is in the Shulchan Aruch, the code of Jewish law. And we can get something out of this if we try to understand it. Judaism takes relationships between husband and wife very seriously. It's an opportunity for accessing great sanctity. Because Judaism says the relationship between husband and wife is an illustration of the relationship between a Jew and God. As much as a husband and wife can be very much in love, in love, that's how much God loves us and that's how much we can love him too. So we don't trifle with this relationship. We don't trifle with the connection between husband and wife or an attraction that might exist between a man and a woman because that helps us to access the perfect relationship with God and we want it to be pure and proper. And therefore, there are lots of restrictions about conduct between men and women in Judaism. A man shouldn't stare at a woman. He shouldn't engage in a flirtatious conversation with her. He shouldn't smell her perfume. And all these things underline the importance of that relationship and the sanctity of the relationship between husband and wife and therefore between God and a Jew. Within the husband-wife relationship, these things are permitted. But beyond it, they're off limits. And this helps us to understand also why a man shouldn't listen to a woman singing. Because again, it's trifling with that relationship. It's making the, the idea that if a woman wants to display her voice for other people's pleasure, that's not okay for a Jewish man to listen to. Because a Jewish man doesn't indulge in a pleasure relationship with a woman unless it's his own wife. And through that, through the sanctity of marriage and having that relationship only within marriage, he can also understand how his relationship with God is a very special thing that should be nurtured and that can nurture him too.